Joining us now from Jerusalem, let's bring in Josh Wonder. He's a volunteer with Zaka Search and Rescue, working with the Israeli army to help identify victims. Josh, thank you so much for giving us some of your time again. Uh, talk to us about the situation. What is it like on the ground there right now? So I can tell you that uh, our volunteers, our thousands of volunteers, are still involved uh, daily on going into the houses of the victims that were massacred on October 7th. Uh, we treat the uh, the not only the bodies of those that were the victims that were that were massacred, but also um, all the blood that was shed from those massacres in a very respectful way, according to Jewish tradition. Uh, so that is all cleaned up, and that is part of the burial process, is cleaning up whatever came out uh, from those per people and, and also burying them along with them. Um, it is a gruesome, it is a very, very difficult psychologically, physically uh, job, but uh, we are doing that, and at, at the same time, we're still involved in the identification of, uh, of hundreds of bodies um, that are still unidentified. It truly is a gruesome work that, that you and your team are doing. And, and we did talk to you just days after the Hamas attack. I know you've obviously spoken with so many people, but talk about how your work has, has shifted now these weeks later. So all, most, uh, if not all, the bodies have been retrieved. So there's no longer a recovery uh, so much in, in that area. Um, we're mainly focused right now on the identification of those bodies and bringing them to burial. Um, that is necessary for two reasons. First of all, obviously, to bring closure to the, all the families. Uh, and secondly, because if we don't know exactly who, uh, which bodies we have, which victims, and we also have the bodies, of course, of the terrorists, the thousand terrorists or so that were that were involved in, and were killed in this uh, in this massacre, um, then we don't know exactly who's on the other side, who's hostage, who's who's still um, alive and might be might be missing. So we have to make sure that we identify each body and we, we take very, very careful, uh, meticulous um, um, work in, in order to identify each and every body correctly. Absolutely. You know, and Josh, we just heard from our correspondent, Robert Sherman, who's there on the ground. He talked about uh, how Hamas wants to eradicate Israel. We know that the prime minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, has said Israel wants to eradicate Hamas. There's been so much talk and, and real concern about the growing humanitarian crisis there in Gaza. Do you think there's a way to eradicate Hamas without sacrificing civilian lives really on both sides of this? I, I think that Israel is doing a job, uh, a good job in, in liberating Gaza of its terrorist government. Um, not only is it good for Israel, but the the, the millions of Arabs that are living under for almost two decades now, a, a, a terrorist government, a terrorist uh, organization um, is, is horrific. And the fact that Israel is now going in and liberating them and bringing them uh, possibly a hope for a future is something that uh, we hope for all both sides. Um, it's something that, uh, you know, it's interesting to me that when America after 9-11 went into Afghanistan and Iraq, there wasn't this daily discussion about operations and whether it's going to, the, the, the civilian casualties were proportional and whether we had connectivity. Um, seems that we're being held to a different standard and we're trying our best to, to keep to that. But on the other hand, uh, it is a war and wars are ugly. Yeah, and you certainly bring up a very valid point there, Josh. And again, you're, you're doing volunteer work. You're doing necessary and noble volunteer work. And I know that this is, next question is very nuanced and complicated, but how do you think this, this ultimately ends? Well, uh, Nicole, we are a, a people of uh, strong faith. And uh, we are, have faith in our, in our God. We have faith in our Bible. Uh, and the prophecies are very clear that... Uh, that in the end we will be victorious. Uh, God's nation will be victorious in the end, and we will the evil will uh, prevail against. Uh, sorry, the good will prevail against the evil. That that is what is uh, is prophesied. Again, we are people of faith. We we believe in God and we pray to Him daily, and uh, we will not allow evil to to succeed. And whatever is necessary to do in order to eradicate that evil, we will do it. Josh Wander, thank you for giving us some of your time once again. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.